Hi everybody, this is Bogus Reviews, and today I'm finally back with some more reviews. So today's review is going to be on the Marvel Legends Forge figure. So before we take a look at Forge, let's take a look at his accessories. Um, before I start this video, I also wanted to say that um, I've had a lot going on recently, and I had a scope ran down my throat the other day. So if I'm a little hoarse or my voice sounds a little bit funny, that's what it is. But I wanted to get back into the swing of uh, doing some videos. So now let's go ahead and take a look at Forge's accessories. So first up, he comes with the left arm of the Caliban Build-A-Figure. And as you can see, I already have him all assembled here. I just need to review all the individual figures and then Caliban himself. Um, Forge comes with his futuristic uh, pistol thingy. And it looks pretty good. I like how they mix some different colored plastic in with it. It's like a, a gunmetal and gold collar. Yeah, that definitely looks pretty good. And you can fit it in his right hand. You can fit it in either hand, really. But this one doesn't have the trigger finger. I suppose you could make it into a trigger finger if you wanted to. But he can't hold it like that. Let's actually try to get his trigger finger through it. There. So he can hold it like that. Now, getting it in his holster, I'm afraid it's going to rip. Because watch what it does when I put it in the holster here. You see how it slid down it? It's way too big for the holster, and when you slide it out, you can see it moving. I think it's mainly just because of this, this piece right here on the pistol, but still, I just leave it down in here because of it doing that. So yeah, that's kind of weird. That's, that's the first time I've had a problem like that, the pistol being too large for the holster. Um, he also comes with this uh, futuristic uh, rifle thingy. It's also done in the same color. It reminds me of um, the Infinity War Winter Soldier's arm. As you can see, it is pretty warped. Um, I should be able to just uh, straighten that out by boiling it. But yeah, it is warped. And you can fit this in his hand just like the pistol. And he can hold it in one hand. He really can't hold it in two because this is too big to actually have his left hand over. So I just put him holding it like that. So you can do that. Honestly, you'll just have to work around with the figure. One thing that is annoying is his trigger finger is really rubbery, so it kind of wants to swing back and forth. So either it'll be in the trigger or it won't go in the trigger at all. Uh, so there's no really happy, there's really no happy medium there. So now taking a look at the head sculpt, I really like this head sculpt. It is it is such an improvement over the last forge which I have here, and this forge has been through a lot. Um, here is the original forge. Like, this isn't even his real hair. This is just a piece I made out of some, uh, braided rope. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this head sculpt is a lot better. And forge is Native American, and the skin tone on this one just looks a lot better to resemble that. Um, this one just doesn't convey that at all. Like I said, I like the, uh, well, I don't think I said it at all. Um, I like the ponytail on this one better because this one was very thin and brittle and constantly breaks off. I don't know how many times I glued the ponytail back on this before I finally just made my own. Um, he does also have an alternate head sculpt, but I'm not sure where that is. But yeah, this head sculpt is so much better. I would have liked it if the ponytail would have had some articulation to it, but it doesn't. But, but that really doesn't bother me because I don't want it breaking off like the last Forge's ponytail did. But yeah, all the details came out pretty clean on him. So that looks pretty good. He also has his headband right there. It also came out pretty clean. And this uses the Bucky Cap body mold. So, you know, pretty pretty much standard articulation and everything there. Except this yellow is painted on pretty bad. And his shoulder right here, his left shoulder, it's not painted on the grayest there. But it also looks like the plastic is melted right there. So I'm not sure what that's all about. Um... He has these straps right here, and they're not painted whatsoever. It's just cast in that brown collar. And it would have been nice if he would have had a uh, a peg on his pistol that you could pour it into his back. That would have been really nice, because he just has that giant hole in his back otherwise. And he has his belt buckle here, and the black the black on it came out. And yeah, not too bad. You can see where it's missing some right there, and I didn't paint it on top. But it doesn't look bad back from here. Um, if you may notice, his arms are pretty warped as well. And actually, his arm articulation isn't that great either. His uh, 
it's it's really stiff. I'll get to that here in a few. Now I really like what they cast his right leg in, or his right upper leg, I should say. That marbleized bluish silver collar that looks really good. And it has a little bit of sculpt detail to it. But yeah, I really like that. And I wish they would have included a robotic hand with this, an alternate uh, robotic right hand. That would have been really nice. Now one thing that's weird is his right knee is constantly bent. I don't know if it's because of this mold or what, but as you can see, this is pretty straight up and down. And this one will always be bent. So I'm not sure how you could change that. You could probably flip the kneecap. I don't, I don't know if that would work or not. But yeah, his, his right knee is constantly bent. Oh yeah. And uh, another thing that I have problems with is his boots right here. These uh, the, the tassels on his boots, they're a separate piece. So they want to shift up and down constantly. I don't know why Hasbro can't just mold them to the foot. You know, like make this all one piece. Because it swivels right here anyway. So they should just mold it as all one piece. But, uh, that bothers me. Hasbro does not either glue them down or just mold them as all one piece because it doesn't need to be separate pieces. So now let's go over his articulation. Due to his ponytail, you are going to get him moving back that far. If you force it any farther, you might rip the ponytail off. It seems like it's a, a pretty stiff material, but still, I wouldn't want to force it too much there. Um, he can move his head all the way down. He can move his head side to side. He has ball jointed shoulders that can only move out that far. And they can't really move up and down that much. They just move up and down like that. Um, can't move out any farther than that. And that's pretty irritating. He has swiveled the bicep, double jointed elbow, and the, the, uh, the gloves, the weird gloves, do get in the way of the double jointed elbow being able to move all the way in. He has swiveled the wrist to move side to side and up and down. He has an ab crunch that can move back all the way, but you do get a lot of gapage if you do that. Um, he can crunch forward all the way. He can swivel the waist side to side, or he has a swiveled waist, it's not he, he can swivel the waist. Um, side to side, ball joint tips that can move out that far. He can kick forward just about all the way, and he can kick back all the way. He has swiveled the thigh, double jointed knee, swivel at the boot, or swivel at the shin I so, should say. Um, he has swivel at the shin that can move side to side, an ankle rocker, or ankle that can move up all the way, down all the way, and an ankle rocker. And as you've seen during me going over the articulation, these boot tassels move pretty freely, so I'll definitely be gluing them down after this. So now, let's do some size comparisons here. So here he is next to the previous Forge figure. And this one was definitely way too skinny. I'm not even sure the color that they were going for for that. It's like a greenish yellow color. But yeah, this one is definitely better. I did want to see one thing, though. Let's pop this off here. Okay, so getting that hand off was a lot more difficult than expected. So yeah, you probably don't want to do that because you might break the figure. Okay, so there. So that does fit on the new one. It just takes a lot of force to get it off the old one and a lot of force to get it off the new one, too. So switching the hands out is pretty difficult. But it is possible. Okay. So now for some more size comparisons. Here he is next to a couple other gold team members. Here he is next to Bishop. Looking pretty cool. Here he is next to Archangel. Let's try to get him to stand here. Ah, of course. Um, there he is next to Archangel, who doesn't want to stand up and wants to knock everybody on the diorama over. So there he is next to him. And finally, here he is next to my custom Hasbro style Storm. Now, we are getting a storm this year. I don't know which look it'll be. I'm hoping it'll be like the silver-white costume. But here's my custom that is tidying me over till the real thing comes out. So, overall, I think that this is a good update to Forge. But I do have some complaints with it. Especially with the articulation. Like, the arms. I, it might just be mine. But the articulation on the arms on mine is pretty bad. 
I feel like he could have had some more accessories, like maybe an alternate head or an alternate hand. The alternate hand would have been really nice. And the boot tassels. Why couldn't Hasbro glue them down or cast them as one piece? So this is a good update, but I do have my complaints with it. So that's my review. If you like this review, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.